welcome to the new video lecture of circuits and networks i am deepak videv assistant professor department of electrical and electronics engineering with the academy of science and technology in today's video i will be explain about maximum power transfer theorem which is applicable for ac circuit three special cases of the load impedance is also discussed so here you can find the definition of maximum power transfer theorem for ac circuit what is it in any linear active bilateral network consisting of a number of energy sources with their internal impedances which is driving an external load the maximum power is transferred to the load impedance when the load impedance is equal to the complex conjugate of the impedance seen from the load terminals after replacing all the energy sources in the network with its internal impedance so this is the maximum power transfer theorem for ac circuit and how it is uh, differed or it is different from dc circuit in dc circuit there is only resistance but here it becomes impedance so let us try to understand this theorem i am also I, i am explaining one more times in any linear active bilateral network consisting of number of energy sources with their internal impedance here it comes internal impedance in ca in case of dc circuit it, it becomes internal resistance here it is internal impedance which is driving an external load so here also the load is also a impedance and the maximum power is transferred to the load impedance when the load impedance is equal to the complex conjugate of the impedance seen from the load terminal so here this term is very important what is that complex conjugate of the impedance seen from the load terminal what does it mean when we are looking from the load terminal you will see an equivalent impedance or it is equivalent to the thevenin's impedance and if the load is the complex conjugate what do you mean by complex conjugate suppose the impedance seen from the load terminal when you look into the source is 5 plus j6 its com complex conjugate is 5 minus j6 so for maximum power transfer the load should be equal to 5 minus j6 in that case so for finding that impedance you have to replace the energy sources in the network with its internal impedances that is similar to what we saw in the thevenin's theorem for finding the impedance you have to replace the all, all the energy sources in the network and you have to look into that network and you have to find the equivalent value of the impedance okay so in case if there is not a, there is no large network in case if it is a single source the source can be represented as a, a voltage source and its series impedance series impedance and in that case the series impedance itself is the uh, impedance that is seen from the load terminal so uh, for maximum power transfer from a source to the load the load impedance should be equal to the complex conjugate of the source impedance okay so let us try to uh, derive the condition for maximum power transfer in terms of ac circuit here in this figure you can see a voltage source and a series impedance zs so here we are considering the case of a of a source which is connected to the load source impedance is zs and you can also you also know that any network can be converted into a form where there is a voltage source and there is a series impedance by using thevenin's theorem so this derivation is applicable for both a large network and also for a Uh, symbol voltage source as shown in the figure here the load impedance is variable 
and the source impedance will have a real part which is represented by rs and its imaginary part is represented by xs for the load also there will be a real part that is represented by rl it is the resistance of the load and xl is the reactance of the load so the current flowing through the load will be equal to the total voltage that is vs by total impedance total impedance means zs plus zl so zs and zl have real part that is rs and rl that is added together here rs plus rl sorry this one rs plus rl and the imaginary part of both the source and load comes together as xs plus xl so the current flowing through this circuit becomes vs by rs plus rl plus j into xs plus xl it is in the complex form and uh, when we take the magnitude the magnitude of the currents become current become vs divided by root of real part square that is rs plus rl whole square plus xs plus xl the whole square will be the current flowing through the load therefore we you can find the power equation of the power through the load as i square into rl we are dealing we are uh, in maximum power transfer theorem we are dealing with the real power so that's why i am taking power is equal to i square into rl actually real power is the useful power that is converting converting into useful work in the load that's why we are only taking the real power so real power is the power dissipated in the load resistance that is i square so it is equal to i square into r in the previous slide we derived the equation for current and you have to substitute that value here so the power equation of the power become vs square divided by rs plus rl the whole square plus xs plus xl the whole square into rl and when you look into this equation here the variable variable is the impedance impedance has a real part that is uh, for the load impedance it has a real part that is rl and it has an imaginary part xl so rl and xl are the unknown quantity if you refer to the maximum power transfer theorem in dc uh, there is only one variable the power depends only on the load resistance but in case of ac circuit there are two variables that is the load resistance and load reactance so the power power is a function and it depends upon the power supply to the load depends upon two variables that two variables are the load resistance and load inductance so here rl and xl are the variable therefore the condition for maximum power transfer will be the partial derivative of power load power pl is the load power dou pl by dou rl and dou pl by dou xl should be zero it is the ba basic formula basic formula in differential equation for maxima condition if the function depends upon two variable you have to find the derivative of that function with respect to each of those variables and you have to get the zero so this is the condition for maximum power transfer in case of ac circuit and you have to find these two derivatives and you have to equate the value of value to zero which means that here the power equation is v s square by r s plus r l the whole square plus x s plus x l the whole square into r l you have to derivate you have to find the derivative of this equation that is this equation you have to find the derivative of this equation with respect to r l and x l and you have to equate it, it to zero and by solving you will get into the condition for maximum power transfer in case of ac circuit so what is that first you have to find the derivative of pl with respect to xl and then uh, find the derivative of pl with respect to rl so 
when you take the derivative of PL with XL, it becomes, you have to apply the quotient rule for derivation. And uh, when you apply, it becomes like this. And when equate to zero, and uh, you have to cross multiply and whatsoever, you have to derive into uh, the condition and you will get that condition as XL is equal to minus X. Okay, this equation is nothing but uh, you have to use this equation and cross multiply and uh, reduce uh, cut the common terms and you will come into this condition xl is equal to minus x okay so from the first condition dou pl by dou xl you will get the first condition that is xl is equal to minus x and when you derive find the when you find the derivative of pl with respect to rl the derivative become this term it is nothing but we are applying the quotient quotient rule for finding the derivative and you have to equate this into sorry equate this into zero and after cross multiplying and reducing you will get as rl is equal to root of r square plus xl plus x s the whole square but already we know that xl is equal to minus x s and if we substitute that condition uh, the equation 31 becomes rl is equal to r s so we obtain the two condition for maximum power transfer Thus, the condition for maximum power transfer in case of AC circuit is RL should be equal to RS. RL means the load resistance should be equal to the source resistance or the equivalent resistance seen from the load terminal. And at the same XL load impedance should be equal to the negative of the source. Sorry, um, load reactance should be equal to the negative of the source reactance. Thus, we can write that we know that ZL is equal to RL plus JXL and by using the above condition instead of RL you can write RS and instead of XL you can write XS. So RS minus JXS. RS minus JXS is nothing but the complex conjugate of the load sorry source impedance where ZS is the source impedance and z star is the complex conjugate of source impedance okay so this is the condition for maximum power transfer which i already explained now we have to find the maximum power delivered to the load so the maximum uh, this equation is this equation represents the power delivered to the load that is v square by r s plus r l the whole square plus x s plus x l the whole square into r l and when you substitute the condition for maximum power transfer that is r l is equal to r s and x l is equal to minus x s in this in this sorry in this equation you have to substitute the condition for maximum power transfer so instead of rl you have to substitute here rs and instead of xl you have to substitute minus xs if you substitute those, those values <coughs> this equation maximum power equation becomes v square by 4 rs it is similar to that of dc circuit in DC circuit, we find that the maximum power transferred to the load is equal to V square by 4 RS. Similar to that, here also the maximum power delivered to the load is V square by 4 RS. So, so far we derived the condition for maximum power transfer. And it is the condition state that the load impedance should be equal to the complex conjugate of source impedance. And the amount of power transferred, maximum power that is transferred to the load is V square by 4 RS. Now let us try to understand uh, some of the special cases that may come when you are trying to solve problems. In the definition or in the derivation, we consider that the load is an impedance and its real part and imaginary part are variable. But there are some practical cases 
where the load is load may be purely resistive or purely inductive or it may have both real and imaginary part but only one part will be changing so here is the first case the in this case the load is purely resistive so the load does not have an imaginary part in this case the condition for maximum power transfer is the load resistance should be equal to the magnitude of the source impedance that is the magnitude of the source impedance is root of r square plus x square so in such cases the maximum power will be transferred to the load if the load resistance is equal to root of r square plus x square so these are the special cases in such cases to find the maximum power transferred to the load you have to first find this load resistance and that value you should substitute in the circuit and you have to find the current flowing through the circuit then you can find the power transferred by using the equation i square into r so in the first case the load resistance should be equal to root of r square plus x square you have to find that value and after that you have to find the current flowing through the circuit then i square into rl will give you the maximum power transfer to the load the second case is that the load impedance in the load load is an impedance and in that load impedance only the real part is changing and but the imaginary part is sorry the real part only the real part is variable the imaginary part is fixed that is sh shown here in this case the load impedance should be equal to root of r square plus x plus xl the whole square okay then for finding the maximum power transferred to the load you have to first find the value of the current flowing through the circuit then i square into rl will give the maximum power transfer to the theorem so in these cases there is no there is no common formula for finding the maximum power transfer to the load you have to first find the current and i square into rl will give you the maximum power transfer to the load and the last case that is third case is the here also the load is complex but only the imaginary part of the impedance is variable okay imaginary part of the impedance only variable in this case xl load impedance should be equal to minus x the negative of imaginary part of source impedance here also you have to substitute this value in the load impedance and you have to find the current flowing through the load impedance then the power will be i square into r so these are the three special cases that may come in the maximum power transfer theorem that is which is related to ac circuits in this video we discussed about maximum power transfer theorem which is applicable for ac circuit and its three special cases which depends upon the characteristics of the load impedance also discussed i hope that all of you understood these topics thank you